Okay, let's next look at the vagina. Here's the vagina here. Hold on, two to five, five centimeters long. Open in and it ends at the surface. So in the vagina, and organ of sex is there, has these folds in the mucosa called rugae, allow for stretching of, of the vagina. It also has a membrane before first intercourse that may be broken, that is usually broken up on first intercourse, called the hymen. It's a partial covering. The hymen is the mucosa layer, the inner layer, that partially covers the, the, the orifice of, of the vagina. And here you have glands that make, make very acidic secretions that kills bacteria or other microbes that may try to populate the vagina. So kill, kill microbes, not all of them, but some of them. Yeah. All right, then get to the, well, now let's look at the external genitalia, right? What, what, means what you can see, see from outside the body. For the male, it's, it's a penis. For the female, it's a few things. Let's look at these. So you have So this part here between, between the thighs, they, they typically have hair on it. This part is called your mons pubis. Mons pubis. And you have, of course, this is the anus right here. Anus. And you have your folds here called the labias. Your labia majora, that's the outer fold around the vagina or the orifice that tends to have hair on it. You have the inner fold called the labia minor. This one is hairless and is normally of a different color, darker usually. And then you have the area enclosed by the, the labia minora. This area is called your vestibule. And in the vestibule, you have two openings. There's an opening to the vagina and an opening to your your your, your reach from. This is the vaginal opening here for copulation. And here is the opening for urination. So your your reach from is there. Okay. You also have the clitoris up here. This homologous to the male to the male penis. It also becomes erect during during arousal. And it has, also has its own prepus foreskin over it, its own prepus. So this is your clitoris here. So that is what's called, what we call your female external genitalia. Things you can see from, from the outside. Alright. Then now let's, let's next look at the breast, which houses your mammary glands. So before pregnancy, the breast is mostly fat tissue, but, at, but during pregnancy, it, develop, it develops mammary glands in response to progesterone and, and estrogen. And so, let's look at those. Let's look at those. All right, so we have a nipple in each breast. And Around each nipple is a darkened area, especially darkened during pregnancy, called the areola. It's believed that the darkened nature of the areola helps for the baby to, to see the, the nipple, know where to latch on to. Okay. And you also have these glands in there, these sebaceous glands, oil glands that keep the nipple moist as well inside the areola. 
Now, if you look at Edit Breast from a side view, There are muscles behind there. So, so the muscles behind the breast are usually is or is a pec major. Pec major. And down here, the lower, lower parts of it, you have your intercostal muscles. So these so the, the breast is anchored to these muscles by these fibers. I go back and anchor them. Okay. These fibers are called your suspensory ligaments. Suspensory ligaments. Inside the breast, you also have these, these lobes. You have a lobe here, lobe, lobed, lobe. Okay. And these lobes contain in them, they contain alveoli. And alveoli are the structures that produce milk, okay. alveoli, in the lobes of the breast, they call lobes. And the alveoli, the alveoli are linked to these lactiferous ducts that bring the milk forward. All right. There's an area called the lactiferous sinus. These are lactiferous ducts. They carry the milk forward and then they let down in the lactiferous sinus. And when the baby suckles, then milk comes forward through the nipple. Okay, so it's a nipple, of course, I have the tiny holes in them. For milk to come out, they're not blind, blind structures. Okay, now some more things here in terms of hormones. So there's a hormone called prolactin. Prolactin. Oops. Prolactin hormone triggers milk production. Another hormone called oxytocin triggers milk release into, into the baby's mouth during suckling. Okay, so that should be it. We'll stop there. We'll stop there. Yeah, we'll stop there then for the female reproductive system. There's some more. There's some more PowerPoint slides that cover contraception. That part I'll talk about during the Zoom session, but you should also read that and be aware of that those slides for the exam.